Hi, this is Michelle. Welcome to my channel. Uh, of course, first off, I would like to thank everyone who has um, watched my videos, liked my videos, subscribed, left me feedback, left me comments. It is appreciated. I thank you very much. Today I am doing a reveal slash review of uh, new bags, believe it or no, two new bags and one bag that I picked up on eBay, of course. Uh, and what, and actually it's going to be a comparison. Um, it's going to be a comparison of the Dooney and Burke Nano Satchel and the Dooney and Burke Micro Satchel. Now, let me come close. So that you first, let me just give you a look at the Nano. And the color of this bag is slate. I believe this is slate. So this is the front. This is the side. With the tassels. This is the back. This is the other side. Bottom, four feet. And of course, what I love about this line is all of the details. Um, you have the belting on uh, the front and the back of the bag, the brushed gold toned hardware all over the bag, the uh, whipped stitching on the handles in brown tomorrow, the red zipper tape on the bag, and then of course, since it is, these are Florentine leather bags, you have the green suede lining at the top of the bag on either side. Of course you have the Dooney uh, logo patch that's also done in Florentine leather. You have the contrasting stitching which is really nice. Just beautiful, beautiful bags. They also come with uh, handles that or straps that you can convert uh, from a short shoulder to a crossbody. Just, just beautiful. And then you have the Micro in the color Fuchsia. Now this is a new color for this year. This is the first, I believe it's the first Florentine pink bag that I purchased. Now, um, I was contemplating getting the micro or the uh, mini, but since it's such a strong color, I said, well, let me just keep the bag small or smaller uh, for, you know, uh, for this color. So that's the reason why I got it in the micro. And again, same features, you know, the uh, whip stitching, in the brown tomorrow on the handles, uh, brushed gold toned hardware. Uh, this does not have the red zipper tape, I guess because of the color, it is brown. Hmm. Uh, same features, tassels, the belting. Uh, it does have a contrasting stitching, of course four feet. And the Dooney uh, leather, Florentine leather patch or logo. So really beautiful color. On the bag. Uh, anything else that I can point out on this bag? I don't think so. Of course, it also comes with a... Um, uh, uh, a strap that converts from a short shoulder to a crossbody. So, beautiful. Beautiful. Now, I also have the micro in red. And this is a deep red. This is not a bright red. This is a, uh, this is a, a deep red color. So, you know, for those who do not like, you know, really, really bright colors, but like the color red, this this is a good option. 
And again, same features. Same features. Just a different color. And honestly, uh, this was a mistake for this bag. I thought I was getting the Nano in the color red. And when I got it, I realized I ordered the wrong size, which was the Micro. And instead of sending it back, I just kept it. So that's why I have three. <laughs> I have the denim, the fuchsia, and the red in the Micro. So let me give you measurements. Now, the measurements, let's see, I got the measurements for the Nano off of the Dooney website. And a lot of times they differ from what's on the QVC website. Uh, and honestly, I measured it myself and the numbers were off, but I'm just going to give you the measurements that are on the Dooney website for the Nano. So it's, uh, it says five and a half inches high, eight and a half inches long, five inches deep, really good capacity. Uh, the strap drop is 24 and a half uh, inches for the strap. The crossbody strap is 24 and a half inches. Didn't give the measurements for the handle. And it actually shows three pounds, four ounces for this bag. This, ba this bag is not three pounds, four ounces. That was definitely a misprint, but that's what's on the uh, Dooney website for the Nano. And then for the Micro, this is QVC's uh, measurements. So seven and a half inches high, nine and a half, no, so yeah, seven and a half inches high, nine and a half inches long, five inches deep. Uh, let's see, it is 22 inches, the strap is 22 to 26 inches, and the weight is two pounds, three ounces. So, now what I would like to do is show you what fits in the, especially in the Nano, for people who want to know what type of capacity um, this bag has. Um, so I just want to show you what fits. So I'm going to come forward and bring the camera down. Great. So I'm going to put this to the side. Here's the strap for it. It comes with the key keeper. Now, as far as the organization, you don't have a lot in this bag because it is such a small bag. Uh, and the opening may be a challenge for some uh, because again, it's a small bag, so you're not gonna have a huge opening. Um, on the front wall, you just have a slip pocket. And I do not believe that will fit my phone, no. And then on the back wall, you have a um, zipper pocket. And that is it for the organization in this bag. So, and of course, uh, again, green suede on both panels. And then the red cotton interior in the rest of the bag. Now, uh, let's see, what do I have here? Let's start with this, my um, Dooney and Burke um, Kiss Lock purse or wallet. And I can easily get that in. I can easily get that in. Then, let's see, I do have my uh, medium Carrington pouch. And let me just take this off because sometimes it gets in the way and I don't even know if I can get this in here but we're going to try yeah I think this pouch is longer or wider than this bag so this the medium Carrington pouch does not fit now of course this is really really pliable if you wanted to get it in here you could but um, it's it's not something that will go in um, comfortably. So I believe that just elim <laughs> that eliminates the other wallets that I have, except for maybe this wallet. My Dooney and Burke Florentine leather 
Continental wallet. I think this will fit. Again, it takes some maneuvering, but yes, yes, it will fit. But I mean, it is, it's in there. It is a tight fit, you know, but if you need or want to get that type, that length of wallet in the bag, you can get it in. And you still have a lot of room. You still have a lot of room. So uh, let's see if you want to work with a smaller wallet, like uh, my uh, smooth leather flap wallet, which I have in two sizes. I think this is the regular size, and then this is the smaller size. So these will definitely fit in a bag like this. And I can get both of them in here, along with the um, Kiss Lock coin purse. Now, let me try my mini pochette, because this is, this is a nice size um, wallet or purse, because you do have card slots in here. So you can get your credit cards and everything in here. And then you still have a lot of room in this. This is pretty deep and you still have a lot of room. So you can get some other personal items in here if you need to, uh, especially if you're carrying a smaller bag like this and you, you know, you just don't have the room to um, add a lot of pieces. This is a, a good alternative for this type of uh, bag. But let me show you if the Louis Vuitton uh, mini pochette fits in this bag. I don't know. Let's see. It should. Yep. That easily gets in. That easily gets in. And then see, once you have this in, you know, you really only need a wallet, your phone, or I, I should speak for myself. I only need a wallet and it could be, it really could be this one, this wallet, you know, um, but this can get kind of bulky if you load it up. So it could be this wallet. You could go in and then my phone, uh, which is the, um, iPhone 11. I don't know why that took so much effort to remember that, but I can easily get my phone in here. So for me, I know it's not for everybody, but for me, this will work. And you still have room because remember you have five inches of uh, depth in here. So you, you still have a lot of room and these pieces aren't high so you can place other items on top um, and with those pieces in there it zips up it folds down just like it's supposed to you can't even tell that I have those things in there and because they're so small items and they're pretty light they're not um, um, weighing down the bag so this is this is great this is honestly great for me again i know it's not for everybody uh but it is good for me so what i would like to show you is how it looks as a shoulder bag okay i'm trying to figure out which side i need to connect <laughs> how it looks as a uh, shoulder bag and if you want to wear, you know, if you want to wear a strap with it, the D-rings are right here on either side of the bag. And you just connect it just like that with the D, uh, onto the D-rings. And that's it. This is just a super cute bag. And for reference, I am 5'8". Uh, to five nine 
and a, oh, and uh, let's see, you have six six adjustments on this on this strap. So, and the handles fold down, so they are not in the way. And it looks. Let me bring it down just a bit more. It looks great. Look at that. It looks great. Really comfortable carry. That's how it looks coming forward. And this is how it looks from the side. And then if you want to wear it as a crossbody, you just, let's see, let me bring it over and down so that I can show you. All you do is you just add the middle portion back in, buckle it up. And make whatever, you know, adjust them to however long you would like it to be. And that is it. Let me move it over a bit. That is it. There it is. Just, oh my God. <laughs> it's just super cute. Love the color. Because there's a hint of gray in it. So, uh, you know, it's a nice, nice color bag. Nice to wear with jeans. Or, you know, you can dress it up by just carrying it by the handle. Did I show you how it looked on the crook of the arm? Probably not. So let me just show you. Oop. Oh, yep. Is that too, oh, let me just come up a bit. Yeah. That's how it looks on the crook of the arm. Really, really cute. And for those who would like to see the pink bag, is I think this is too low. Bring it up a bit. That's how that one looks on the crook of the arm. And let's see. Just to oh, uh, you know what? I this is a brand new bag. And I did not, as you can see, I did not take all the wrapping off. But I do want to show you so that you can get some idea as to, you know, uh, the proportions of the bags. And I did a video, I, like I said, I have one in denim, and I did a video on that, um, showing what fits. Now, I could do it real quick. Just in case there are people that have not seen that video. And I can always link it within the, link it in the uh, description. So I'm just going to show you what this looks like as a short shoulder and, and it's the same setup you just connect the bag to the D-rings. This one feels lighter. Oh, but you know, let's just do it this way. Yep, there you go. And you have plenty of room. Plenty of room, um, you know, under the arm so you don't have to worry about perspiring onto the bag. It has, uh, looks like, yep, five adjustments on the strap. And again, the handles fold down. Not that looks to me it looks really really nice and then let me show you what it looks like as a crossbody and I could show you the red one also 
you know, just so that, again, you can get a sense of the color. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. There we go. And that's how it looks. It's crossbody. Looks nice. And this is the micro. This is the micro. Looks nice. And then, last but not least, the red in the micro. That's how it looks. Like I said, it's a deep red. Uh, it's not a uh, bright red. So, but like I said, for those who really don't want a bright red bag, this is a really nice uh, alternative. And let's see, I probably, nope, <laughs> did not undo the strap on this one. Let me just show you what it looks like on the shoulder. And as a crossbody. This is why I this is why I um, do this ahead of time because uh, to me that's why you don't see me doing un unboxings anymore. It just takes way too much time. We to me I just don't have the patience for that. Um, especially with the way that uh, Dooney packages their packages their bags, um, which I which I appreciate. Um, you know, they do a great job of uh, protecting the bag while it's in transition or transition to you. So, I am not going to complain, but I do not want to spend time in the video unboxing these bags. So, that's what it looks like on the shoulder. And it's a, I like the color red. I like this color. Because I do have other red bag, red Florentine bags from uh, Dooney, and some of them are brighter. Some of them are not this dark. And then, this is what it looks like as a crossbody. If you hear snoring, that's my dog, Princess. She is asleep. It is way past her bedtime. <laughs> way past her bedtime. And this is what it looks like as a crossbody. That looks really good. Let me know what you think. Like I said, I have a video showing what fits in this bag. Um, I really wanted to show what fit in the Nano since um, I did not have a video on that. But I could do it real quick again for those who haven't seen it. Let me see. Let me just bring the back, bring the camera back around. I think I may have made that too low. Right, this is good. And again, same. Same breed suede. And I ordered this from Dooney.com. Uh, I believe they were having a great sale. They're having a sale now. I think um, bags are 30% like off. So they're having a good sale now. So this is, now let's see. This is my large Carrington pouch. And let's see, I don't, and again, the opening is a l larger than the Nano, but it's still, it's still small. So, um, but again, you have good capacity on these bags. And this is the micro, and you do, you will, 
be able to get the, I think it's nine and a half inches, the nine and a half inch Carrington pouch um, in this bag. And then here's the medium Carrington pouch and that will easily go in. And look at all the room you still have left. You have a good amount of room. This is the Dooney & Burke uh, Continental Wallet. That easily goes in. And I could still get my Kislop coin purse in here. I mean, like I said, this bag has really good capacity and this is just the micro. This is just the micro. So really, really good capacity. And I have all those items in there and the bag doesn't, there's no distortions. So this is this, that's why I have three of these because, <laughs> because these, this is a good size for me. This is a really good size for me. But they can, you can get some, um, you can get your stuff in here. So, let me know what you think. Where is it? Let me bring the camera back up. There we go. There we go. Let me know what you think about the Nano, the Nano and the Micro. Uh, if there isn't it, if there's something that I did not address, please, uh, please uh, just post a question in the description um, area and I will uh, get back to you. Um, let's see, uh, let me know what you think. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.